back Hail Marys. You know, Ethan starts hoping for a shot of redemption for Albany. McDonald and Lowe back hoping for a chance. They do squib it at the 40. And great field position here for Albany. All the way to the 42 goes Missler. That's exactly what you had to worry about. And now, remember, on a tough day for Stark, he has a 51-yarder this year. You're only nine yards from that. You're right. They don't need a touchdown. A field goal wins this football game. So you can take a shot or two. Albany still has two timeouts remaining. And they're only about, what would you say, about 10 yards from field goal range? Incredible. If they get to the 35, they've tried. That's one completion. Four-man rush. Under Kuffler, over the middle, no four, and they're in field goal range at the 31. Timeout with four seconds remaining. Second, charge timeout. Well, they're going to send the field goal unit out, but there's second. no question that timeout. Ethan Stark is going to get a chance to redeem himself, and wouldn't this be justice? The best kicker in the CIA, CAA who's had a difficult night has a chance to win the game for Albany. Oh, for a good job, just get as much as he could and give Stark a chance. Here's a kid all year. He had missed two kicks, one field goal, one extra point. Today, he's missed three. Now, the wind is blowing from his left to right and is swirling. From 49, four. Listen, if you're going to do a commercial for college football, take a shot right there. Look at the jubilation. This game had more twists and turns than a movie script. And in a rivalry game, Albany hoisting the Golden Apple Trophy shocks Stony Brook. Just an incredible finish to a really entertaining football game. Sometimes as broadcasters, you just let the pictures tell the story. Now take a look. He hits it well. Again, the wind affects it just a tad, and it hits the bottom of the goal post and creeps over in a game where almost nothing has, excuse me, in a season where almost nothing has gone right for Albany. They get a lucky bounce at the end of the game, and winner, winner, chicken dinner. Albany had lost three times in the final 30 seconds this season. It looked like it would be number four. But the ball bouncing their way. And now it'll be a very tough 18 hours for Stony Brook because they will have to watch the selection show tomorrow. Maybe the Seawolves, if you still feel good, about your postseason chances, but it's Albany that wins the Golden Apple Trophy. A thriller 